Hi and welcome back to our GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Today we'll talk about the 12 golden rules of the responsibilities of the investigator according to good clinical practice. More after the break. Rule 1. You should know the study protocol in detail, agree with the content, and follow the regulatory requirements. After having read the protocol, agreed with the content, and signed the protocol signature page, investigator must strictly follow the requirements of the protocol. Any violation of the protocol must be documented as a protocol deviation by the monitoring personnel of the sponsor. Protocol deviations occur frequently in clinical practice. Rule 2. Select, train, and log suitable study personnel and delegate study-related duties. The investigator has to log responsibilities, duties, signatures, and initials of the study personnel. The investigator will receive a delegation log in one form or another for each study, and this form is used by the principal investigator to enter procedures the people involved are entitled to undertake within the study. Rule 3. Record study data carefully. Fill in the case report form and all study data according to their source data documentation as soon as possible while details are still fresh in your memory. The case report forms must be completed fully and legibly. Rule 4. Ensure timely and efficient safety reporting. GCP distinguishes between four essential safety-related events, adverse drug reaction, unexpected adverse drug reaction, adverse event, and serious adverse events. Learn the differences and how to report them. Rule 5. You should predict the potential for recruiting the required number of suitable subjects and log patient data accurately. Get the necessary information prior to the start of the study in order to be able to predict the realistic potential number of subjects. The list of inclusion and exclusion criteria, for example, enables you, in combination with your medical records, to assess the frequency of patients with specific diseases. Rule 6. Ensure protection of trial subjects. Prior to starting the study, a written approval of the ethics committee must be present. According to good clinical practice, it is the investigator's commitment to ensure the availability of such approval prior to study start. Even though this task is often gladly undertaken for the investigator by sponsors and CRO, the formal responsibility nevertheless lies with the investigator. So don't forget check on this and other things like the informed consent. Rule 7. Meticulously document product accountability. Within the scope of clinical studies, the investigator will receive an investigational product from the sponsor. From the moment of receiving the product, the investigators are responsible for its proper handling. Check the delivered product exactly. Remember that, for example, a continuous cold chain must be insured for some drugs, such as vaccines. Rule 8. Ensure study equipment is adequate. The necessary facilities and equipment varies depending on the study. In simple studies, this may only include a fridge, a centimeter tape measure, a scale and perhaps also a centrifuge. The investigator has to check prior to the study that the study equipment meets the sponsor's requirements. Rule 9. Handle samples carefully and review all laboratory results immediately and accurately. Correct handling and shipment of samples is essential for the safety of trial subjects and the quality of the trial data. Label samples carefully. Does it refer to the correct visit? And is it the correct subject identification code? Is it the right study code? In particular, when trial sites participate in several different studies performed by the same sponsor, confusion may occur frequently. Rule 10. Maintain good trial files and archives. The storage and archiving of study documents is an essential topic of clinical studies. You need to realize that you work with highly confidential data. Therefore, it is essential to store study documents safe from unauthorized access. This involves not only subjects, but also monitors, who partially do not work for clinical research organizations, but rather directly for other sponsors. Rule 11. Maximize data quality. 
quality assurance and quality control. The clinical trial agreement for principal investigators always includes a passage according to which all data recorded by you also need to be verified. At the trial site, this mainly occurs through source data verification by monitors. Here, source data of the medical records or laboratory reports are compared with CRF data and must of course match exactly. Rule 12, keep everyone fully informed. The principal investigator is the central point of contact for other study staff. Therefore, he has to read the investigator's brochure and the protocol, and if necessary, the protocol amendments, carefully and inform all other persons involved about all study-related issues. The principal investigator should delegate duties in a way that only qualified persons assume study-related duties. Furthermore, they are responsible for informing the subject as primary care physician about the participation in the study if the subject is in agreement. So much about the 12 golden rules of the responsibilities of the investigator according to good clinical practice. We also have a more detailed videos on each rule, so check them out. We hope that we could give you some interesting information and look forward to see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.